Today I want to show you how to use the free Quixel Mixer to paint your metahumans. First we need to download Mixer. Go to Quixel.com and download it for free. Next we install it. Open up the installer. Click Next and here you will see a list with lots of smart materials. This will take a while to download if you select all of these but I do advise you to do so. I'm going to create a blank project. Open up Quixel Bridge and I'm going to import a MetaHuman. I already have one downloaded that I want to use, so I will just add it to my project. I will enable all the missing settings and restart the engine. Next, I'm going to check my MetaHuman just to make sure everything's OK. If we look, it looks a little smooth, so I'm going to disable texture streaming. I can do that down here in the console, like so. And there we go, the normals are back. Or I can go to the project settings and find texture streaming and disable it that way. Next, we need to export our textures. So I come to my face material and click this folder icon and it opens up the folder with the textures. Here is a cavity map. We won't be using this today, it's beyond the scope of this tutorial. What we do need though is face colour main, these two masks, this normal, and face roughness main. And we're going to right click on these and asset actions, and we're going to export to a folder. Let me just create one. I'll name it textures. And I want to save as a targa.tja file rather than a PNG for each one of these. There we go. Next, I need to export my head mesh. Let's open it up so you know what I'm talking about. Here it is, the face mesh. We need to export this, right click, Asset Actions, Export. When this dialog pops up, uncheck Level of Detail and Export Morph Targets. Next, we need to open up Blender. I'm using Blender 3.3.1. Delete everything in the scene and import our head mesh. All I've done here is unchecked animation. And here is our head mesh. Select root, do Alt P and unparent, and do the same for the mesh, Alt P and unparent, then delete root and the null, just leaving this mesh. Set origin to 3D cursor, and then set origin ge geometry to origin, and it will place it in the center like this. Go into edit mode, go to the top of the scroll, press L. H, A, X, delete vertices and then do all H. And if we go back into object mode, this leaves us with an empty shell to paint on. OK, so select the mesh, choose Wavefront OBJ, give it a name. Set scale to 100 and then export. Next, I'm going to open up GIMP. It's a photo editing software and it is free. I'm going to open up the roughness texture that I exported from the engine. And what I need to do is extract the roughness map from the red channel. In GIMP, this is simple. Go to Colors, Components, Decompose. And when this dialog pops up, just click OK. And what this will do is create layers for red, green and blue. We're going to delete green and blue. And that just leaves us with this red, which is now grayscale. We're going to export. And I'm going to call this uh, version 2. And then click export. And that's it. We can now close GIMP. Open up Quixel Mixer. Click on New Project and give it a name. Then click on New Mix and give this a name. 
and the working resolution, I'm using 4K. Click OK. OK, to move in and out like this, you do the center mouse button. Or you can hold down Alt and use your left and right buttons to move around. Here's Layer, Setup, Display, Performance and Export. Click on Setup. And here we can choose 3D Asset or Shader Ball. Let me show you Shader Ball in the viewport look. What we want is Custom Model though. So choose Custom Model and then choose the OBJ from Blender. And here it is. Next, we can come over here and click Edit Texture Sets. Go to Albedo and choose our Face Color Main. For Roughness, choose the file we exported from GIMP. And then for Normal, just choose the Normal Texture from Unreal Engine. And that's it. You now have a textured MetaHuman. Click on the Layers tab and hit the Paint icon and as you can see we can now paint on the metahuman and we can uncheck over here so we can for example just choose albedo and just paint a base color on top of our metahuman we come over to local library, as long as you've downloaded the files at the beginning. We can choose surface. I really do like these surface materials here. We can choose smart material, which I'm going to do in this case. And we can find a smart material we want. There are plenty to choose from. And let me find one. I like this warm painted aluminium. And you just double click it. It's giving me a warning that I need to download some extra textures. I do that. What I'm going to do now is speed up the video and I'm going to paint on my MetaHuman. This is just like using Photoshop or Substance Painter. You work in layers and you just paint. I will be doing a full tutorial on this soon. Time to export our textures. First we choose a folder to save to. I'm going to uncheck create subfolder here. We don't need to export the model. And Texture Preset is Metalness Maps. And we have these options here. There's some options we don't need. We're going to keep it very basic for today's tutorial. So I think I'm going to remove Metalness. Ambient Occlusion and Displacement. So what we've got is Albedo, Roughness and Normal. Under where it says Metalness Maps here, there's this tiny text, Advanced Texture Setup. This is actually a button. If you click it, this dialog opens up. What I need to do is make some changes here. Click on Albedo and change it to TGA for a target file. Go to Roughness, choose TGA again. Then in green, choose Value and do the same for blue. And then I'm going to set the value of each of these to zero. And the red channel is Roughness Linear. Next, go to the Normal Map and set to TGA. And that is all the changes we need to do here. I'm going to save as a preset in case I need to come back later and change it. MetaHuman Basic. Hit save. And I'm going to choose the resolution again, 4K here, and export to disk. And that's it. We now have exported textures from Quixel Mixer. 
Time to import back into Unreal. In our textures folder, I'm going to create a new folder, call this version two, and import those textures we've just exported from Quixel Mixer. Here they are. Here's the albedo. Here's the normal. And here is the roughness. We need to make some changes to this roughness map. The roughness is in the red channel as it should be. Scroll down on the details panel until you find compositing. Hit advanced and choose add normal roughness to green. And then for the composite texture, we choose the normal we've just imported. And hit save all. And that's it. Next, we go back to our MetaHuman head material. And in color main, I'm going to choose our albedo file. And then I'm going to scroll down until I find our normal main and choose our normal texture. Then all the way down to roughness main and choose our roughness texture. I'm going to do save again. And this is what we have so far. It does look a little strange. And this is because it, this character has makeup on. So we're going to have to go into the material and disable the makeup. Blush makeup to zero, eye makeup to zero, foundation to zero. And if we go back and take a look, that's improved. As you can see, it's the same paint that we had in Quixel Mixer. I mean, it's not the prettiest looking MetaHuman, but it does show you what you can do inside Quixel Mixer. And with the knowledge you've gained today, hopefully you can go away and create something much, much better than this. If you would like to support the channel, you can go to the link in the description and buy me a coffee from buymeacoffee.com. Alternatively, you can click the thanks button underneath this video and help that way. More tutorials are on the way, but for now, could you please hit the like and subscribe button and comment below with any questions. I will see you in the next one.